Welcome to the MEL Virtual Laboratory, where you can see the invisible. Today, you will use our virtual microscope for the first time. We will start with a diamond. This diamond is called the Kohinoor. It was found in India about a thousand years ago. People estimate its value to be over a billion dollars. Let's look inside. Ready to dive? We will zoom in. Each cell you see is 10 times smaller than the one before. We need to zoom in about a billion times. That's nine zeros after a one. And now we see these small particles that our diamond is built of. They're called atoms. Further on, we will show atoms smaller than their real size to let you see their arrangement better. However, in real life, atoms in solids touch each other. Also, they don't stay still. They are constantly vibrating. Let's switch time on. Ready, steady, go. All matter is built of atoms that are constantly moving. In solids, like our diamonds, they vibrate. You can see how each atom is connected to four others. Such a strong structure makes a diamond one of the hardest materials. Let's return back to our laboratory. We also have a pencil here. It's a billion times cheaper, but interestingly, its lead is made of the same carbon atoms as a diamond. Let's look inside. Ready to dive? We have to zoom in about a billion times to see the individual atoms. They are the same carbon atoms as in a diamond, but their arrangement is different. As you can see, they are laid out in layers. These layers are easy to separate from each other since there is no strong bond between them. This makes graphite much softer than a diamond. When you write with your pencil, the marks on the paper are traces of graphite. You can fly inside this graphite crystal and explore it by yourself. Just to remind you, you are now as small as an atom, and what you see around you is the tip of a pencil enlarged a billion times. Let's go back to our laboratory. You have seen that both diamond and graphite are built of the same atoms, but they have very different properties because of their atomic structure. Try to recall how small the atoms are. What do you think is bigger, an atom or a bacterium? A bacterium is much, much bigger than an atom. Each bacterium contains billions of atoms. Now, try to think how big an atom is. An atom is about 10 million times smaller than a millimeter. If an atom were the size of an ant, then this ant would be the size of Manhattan. <laughs>